What's up, everybody? It's your favorite fighter, Jeff's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Fans Toys Goose. Your goose is cooked. Anyway, I got this from the toy guy. I'm a big fan of dealing with that dude. I will have the link in the description of how to get in contact with him. You'll probably have as many good experiences as I have had, especially if you're located on the East Coast. It's really quick to get it to you. Other than that, I'm a little under the gun in terms of time, so I don't want to waste a whole lot of it. So let's get to this review. But in order to do so, we need to start with accessories. He comes with two pistols. They both have a folding action and that will snap in. It also has a finish on it and it's decent sculpt work. You know, I'm not crazy about their weapon sculpt work generally, but this is one of the better ones. It has like a lot of little details and kind of interesting to look at. And he'll hold it just fine. And collapsed, it will peg into the underside of the wing as well. However, it should be noted due to the paint, it's not the best fit in the world. And then he comes with one, nah, I haven't finished all my Christmas shopping face, which is decoed fair. It has the gold paint on the face, but they've done away with the metallic eyes, which I think is a mistake. I think the metallic eyes look better, but that's my personal preference. And not for nothing, a darker tone on the inside of the mouth would probably be better as well. And now we can kind of get into the figure. The one thing about this that should be stated is that much like most Fans Toys releases, there's a bit of transformation that needs to be done fresh out of the box. They do this for a number of reasons. Number one is packing and packaging to keep it as slim and compact as possible for expenses. And number two is to preserve paint. Think of it as the third party equivalent of plastic wrap between joints on SH Fig Arts or Hot Toys. Let's begin. The one easy fix you'll notice is that out of box, the feet come collapsed. That's fair enough. Just get the heel spur out and the toes out. Now as a quick note, some people have had their wings backwards which is to say this tab was done and then this wing was facing this way and the, I don't know, it was wrapped around the other way and then you untab it, flip it back this way and around and then tab it back in. The reason why I'm kind of going over this haphazardly is because mine wasn't like that. Mine came like this, which I believe is the correct way. So if yours isn't, just take it out and swap it. But if it is, then leave good enough alone, you know what I mean? The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fill out the flank. Flip the head up, bring the chest out, unfurl these side panels, bring the chest back down, and then tab them into the sides. I didn't do this for most of the review, so uh, I just forgot to do it. Take these wings and tab them into the back of the legs. So let's talk about the figure. The head sculpt, I think, is on the money. Like the little indentations at the corners of the brow. I'm not sure if you can see them. There's like little triangles at the corner of the brow, you can see it kind of there. Just little stuff like that I think always looks nice. The shape of the helmet, the face sculpt, the gold paint, the black paint, this thing's painted from pretty much head to toe. They're using this eye thing now, which I'm not crazy about. I prefer the metallic eyes, but the chromed out eyes rather. Okay, so it's on a hinge swivel. So you get up to there, a little bit down, and then the swivel. And then you have your universals for shoulders tensioned out to the side to 90 degrees, and then a soft ratchet that gets you all the way around, uh, which is fine. I'm not a big soft ratchet fan, and these teeth on here are a little wide for my liking, but that's a nitpick. The paint is beautiful. Uh, this metallic kind of black, it's gorgeous. The metallic red is as well. Bicep swivel, single hinged elbow that gets you a little shy of 90 degrees, but I think we should give it to him. This uh, silver paint here is beautiful as well. Wrist swivel, thumb is on a ball peg at the base. The fingers are individually articulated with a pin at the base knuckle and then a secondary pin at the second knuckle. Uh, so fully articulated. Same for the other side. I like this here with the little translucent piece on one side of the chest and then the flat on the other side, smart. I, I dig it an awful lot. Waist swivel, point of contention, right? So you can get it around to the right. Uh, and you can kind of continue around to there to get the left. You can't go the other way. I'm not sure I understand why. Like, I guess it's this flap right here. Uh, I think that's stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look. You, know, you guys know I love fan toys. I do. That's dumb. Uh, it's a bummer. 
No ab crunch. Pain is beautiful. Sculpt is beautiful. Hip skirts. You can get them up and out of the way. They're hinged for universals at the hips. Ratcheted forward to about there and back. The backpack starts to get in the way. And then out to the side is on tension. You can get that out for the full Van Dam. And you have a thigh swivel built around the universal. So that's well done. Knee, single hinged, ratcheted for 90 degrees, no issues. Lower leg sculpt work is pretty accurate there. And then you have the feet. Ankle tilt up ever so slight, down, uh, maybe even less. You do get a toe hinge down, so that'll count. Heel spur articulates to support the weight. And then you have a pretty insane rocker, which is nice. Uh, so that's pretty much this guy in a nutshell. Here he is from the back. This is one of my aesthetic issues. To me, the, the kind of winged thing like this, I mean, and I guess that works, but not really, you know what I mean? Like, to me, that's a very iconic thing about the Aerobots, is that, that kind of baby jet on their back, so to speak. And this guy just, he can't pull it off. And it's not the biggest deal in the world. And if there was going to be an aesthetic issue, I would definitely prefer it would be on the back of the figure. However, it is an issue. It's it's something that's super, it's like, you know, it's it's almost like Prime's ears. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it's something that's defining about them, in my opinion. And it's not quite right. So that's a bit of a bummer. And the waist swivel is a bit of a bummer. And other than that, he's pretty much good to go. So there he is among some of his contemporaries. That's the DX9 Breakdown, the X-Transbots Wild Rider, and the MMC Vortex. So pretty much in line with what they've been doing for Limbots, which is to say about the same size as the Sonicons to kind of co-align with the Toy World Scale Combiner, which I think is the right decision. But that's going to be a matter of personal preference. It's going to come down to how you want that combiner to scale, what's more important to you, and where you want those sacrifices to be made, because it's going to be sacrificed somewhere. Either the combiner is going to be scaled wrong, or the bots are going to be scaled wrong. Something's got to give. I'd prefer it be this way, it's a, but it's a matter of personal preference. And there he is next to Silverbolt from Fans Toys, and I think that that's a, like a great look. Like I think they look fantastic together, shaping up quite nicely. Let's get him transformed. Open up this flap down at the bottom, have his hand in a fist, swivel it in, close it up, straighten it out, collapse it. Easy for me to say. Open up this flap here on the side. The shoulder is on a double hinge. It will, let me back up, it's having a little problem focusing. It will rock up and close in. Get the arm in line with the body and close this flap. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna open up that flap. We're gonna get the hand in. We're gonna close this up, bring it down, collapse. Open up the shoulder flap, rock the arm up on the double hinge, bring it down close to the body, and then close it up. Disconnect the head and neck from the chest. Untab your side panels that you fixed in the beginning, and you fixed it before I did, right? This is one of the things I like most about this transformation. So we're going to flip out this chest cavity, right? The shoulders here will slide forward just a bit, move them in, slide them out. So they're going out. Then you can get the arm in and then slide it back. Very, very clever. Let's do that again. Just because I like doing it, to be honest with you. Slide it forward. Move it to the inside, slide it out, which will give you the clearance to get it all the way inside of the chest cavity, and then slide it back. That type of engineering, if fans toys can incorporate it more often, will it will solve all of their engineering issues. Close the chest cavity back, tab it up, close that up, bring the head down, turn it 180, and connect it back into the chest. Collapse the heels, collapse the toes. Untab your wing from the back and get it out of the way. Open up this panel here, and you're basically going to do a combiner wars of the uh, thigh. But it's a it's an old 
it's a new twist on an old favorite, you might say. So you're gonna do on the you're gonna operate kind of on the inside of the thigh rather than on the front or back. And then you can also get your landing gear out here. They suggest this in the instructions. So who am I to argue with that? Close this panel up and then close your hip flaps. We're gonna go ahead and do that one more again. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, so get that up out of the way. You can open this up and get the landing gear out while you're here. And then we'll get the hip skirts out of the way. We're going to combine our wars on the inside of the thigh. Bring it back down, close this flap, close your hip skirts. Lastly, bring your tail wings around and this piece right here will swivel down so that the tail wings will align kind of, you know, properly. You can just get them out of the way. You can also tab in your lower legs at this point. And now we need to make the backpack kind of explode. So we're gonna do the little trick that some folks had to do to get them transformed properly, which is to separate the wings from the backpack. And then you wanna separate these two side pieces from the nose cone kind of area as well. And if you've done that properly, which I hope I have, then you can kind of start getting this stuff up and out of the way, which maybe I have not. There it is. Good night. Ah, that's what you're looking for. So it's this slide into these these pieces here. Oof, good grief. So we're going to bring these pieces back around so that the tail fin kind of begins to line up. And we're going to slide on hinges these two side pieces so that they will come and put the, the tail fin kind of in line, right? Now we need to get the wings sorted. So they're gonna rock up. So just line that up and then the rest should be pretty intuitive, right? You just wanna kinda put the puzzle together to make it look right. And then same for this side. Remember to take advantage of the sliding pieces. And then collapse this. You can close that little door there too. Down and on to the back of the legs. Then take your rear wings, tab them into the side there. Then we're gonna get the wings in. They just slide up into this kind of, you know, it's, it's self-explanatory, right? Like they need to go in here. The only problem is there's pegs that sort of need to go up. I hate when stuff is like that because it kind of forces you to bend around, but as you can see, it was relatively effortless, right? Even for me which is saying something. There. Okay, so we've untabbed this already because I took forever to get the backpack undone. If you haven't untabbed this, these pegs from this side portion, do that now. And then you can extend all of this. Split this bottom intake here and then open up the cockpit. Bring this up and then this up and then flip the landing gear down. And once again, I mean, this is only if you want the landing gear out, much like the leg pieces. Uh, it's just going to be, uh, the time to do it is, is upon us. And this is tricky. All right, so got that down. Leave that for now. Bring this towards the base, but you do, so to speak, but you do need to slide it in just to taste so to speak again, and that will line it up properly. Then you can kind of put all this stuff back in its proper orientation, close that up, line up the landing gear at the bottom with the hole for it. Good to go. And then you can bring these pieces around and tab them in. I'll get it cleaned up, we'll take a look at it. It's beautiful, <clears throat> it's really beautiful. 
the silver paint comes through beautifully. The yellow paint, yellow is a hard one to do, and it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And then it has even a darker, like kind of glossy flat black paint around for an outline on top of the black metallic, sharp as a tack. The glossy kind of black plastic here, beautiful. I mean, it's, I guess it's a translucent technically, but I'm not sure. And then the back here, we have the blue metallic with the lightning bolt. It is decoed gorgeously per usual. I got QC21. What are you guys working with? And rolls like a champ. You know, the only kind of bummer about this thing is that you can't kind of get rid of the landing gear quickly. You know, you got to kind of take it, start taking it apart in order to make it make it happen, Captain. But yeah, this is uh, this is sharp, Mac. Super sharp. Let's get our other sharp unit out there. Little Tiger Tracks. Like, it's really, really, really well done. Um, quite nice. All right, let's talk about the negatives. There are a few here. The waist swivel is stupid. It's silly. It's obnoxious. It's not masterpiece level quality in terms of how it performs. It's just, it's goofy. Do you know what I mean? Does it technically work? Yes. Does it provide a workaround? Yes. Does it change the fact that it's silly? No. I actually could have gone with a bit more articulation here in general. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, ankle tilts up and down would have helped tremendously. I also think there could have been some improvements in regard to hardware. The soft ratchets at the shoulders probably should have been hard ratchets. Just little decisions like that. And to be fair, probably should have had an ab crunch. It's kind of a standard these days. But that is the bulk of my negative. Plenty of positives though, and some of them are surprising. Surprising. Some of them not so much. So once again, the sculpt and paint is 1000% beautiful. The materials, 1000% beautiful. Die cast, solid plastics, all sorts of good stuff here. I know I've already said it, but it's worth saying again, it's one of the best painted figures I've looked at in a while, even from fans toys, and that is saying something. The choices between glosses and metallics, the color palette, etc., it all works beautifully. Has a strong presence, cleans up fairly well, given what it is, but not perfect. And while we're on there, I know this is kind of a negative, but it's worth stating also. The backpack, I feel like, could have been more purposeful looking instead of like a pile of parts. That is a bit unsightly, and it's not necessarily staying true to one of the iconic visual notes of who this character is. It's fairly priced, and the alt mode is absolutely, positively clean as a whistle and gorgeous with a capital G. But the big surprising bonus of this, and it's going to shock me to even say it, the transformation, bar the one step of separating the backpack, is fun, intuitive, has those masterpiece moments, and most importantly, enjoyable. It's probably the most enjoyable transformation that Fans Toys has provided since the Dinobot era. Bravo. So yeah, a definite strong recommend for me in regard to what we see here. How the combined mode will play out is anybody's guess at this point. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Thanks to the Toy Guy for getting this to me ASAP and thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.